Welcome back to Healthy Homes Australia. Now we'd love to see you join our tribe on social media. You can catch us on Facebook and Instagram. And also if you'd like to replay some of the story ideas we've done, just head to our website, healthyhomesaustralia.com.au. Now, as a home expert, it is my job to sniff out and find game-changing ideas for your place. Those innovations that are realistically affordable for everyday people and also are non-invasive which is quite the job. Well, the warmer weather is finally upon us and as sure as those magpies start to swoop, you can bet your bottom dollar that Danny and I will be stopped in the street by viewers asking how to start reducing the cost of their electricity bills, especially when it comes to cooling the house in those warmer months. We always tell them you've got to start at the roof and work your way down. So on a hot day, the sun beats down on the roof, which is most likely tiled, dark in colour, or terracotta. Even metal roofs too, well they all just soak the heat in, absorbing it like a sponge, and of course that then heats the inside of your roof cavity to an astonishing temperature, sometimes up to 70 degrees Celsius. And not only that, you have the roof then from inside your home, which rises and works its way up to your roof. And what's inside your roof cavity? Your ducted air conditioning. So how can we get rid of all that heat from inside your roof cavity and start to cool your house down? Well, I know just the man to give me a hand. My mate Lincoln, how you doing mate? Good to see hey, you. Hey Walt, how you doing mate? Yeah, really good, thank you. Lincoln is our roofing and ventilation expert. So something different for us today is a bit of a bit of a game changer, a bit of a scoop for healthy homes. What is it and why is it so different? This Solar X vent from Bradford is solar powered. So it's a roof ventilation system. It's got a high flow rate, which essentially pulls all the hot air out of your roof space, leaving your roof space nice and cool. Like in terms of the traditional way of getting these, because the old ones are powered, so what did that entail? Yeah, so in the past, we'd have to get a Sparky out to install the cables and power the machine. Yeah. But in this case, because it's solar powered, it works itself. As you can appreciate, in the summer, roofs can get up to 100 degrees almost. You can fry an egg on them. Yeah. This thing will obviously pull all the hot air out of the roof space, leaving that roof space nice and cool. When you think about it, you've got your duct inside the roof space, yeah. and your air conditioners are pumping the cool air through what are now red hot ducting. Absolutely. it's so hot in there. Yeah. So that will help cool down that temperature. So it's a bit of a win for probably some energy efficiency on there as well. And also, like you said, some, you know, potential health issues. Oh, it's nice and shiny. Check out that. As soon as it's in the sun, bang, full power. Whoa, I can actually feel, I can feel the air coming through that. How great is it, yeah. That's really powerful. That's a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Absolutely. Solar panel. When it's in the sun, full flow rate, pulling that hot air out of the roof space, keeping the roof space nice yeah. and cool. That is significantly powerful, more powerful than I thought it was going to be. That's amazing. So what I might do is we might put this guy about 900 from the gable. Yep. Just in this little area here. Okay, no worries. So we'll pick a tile then, shall we? Now I've cut a hole in the sarking. Yep. Put your hand over here. Feel the hot air coming out of the roof space. Wow, you can actually feel it puttering straight out of there. Absolutely. When this hot air rises, this is just going to assist in pulling all that hot air out of the roof space. That's unbelievable, because it's not even yeah. a hot day today. Absolutely, yeah. Wowzers. Walt, do you want to help me lift up this tile? Yeah, no worries. I'll lift up this guy, and we'll just slide it straight under. So you want a, what, a dab of silicon down each side just to lock it in? Yeah, I just run a bead of silicon down the outside edges just to seal it up. Yeah. And we're good. Now what happens here then with this bit? Because obviously that would be nice to mould it to the tiles. Any tricks for that one? So I'm just going to put a little snip here. Yep. And a little snip here. Oh yeah. And then mold I'm just going to bend it down. Yeah, great. It's whisper quiet, but it's so powerful. Absolutely. This will be the perfect solution to pull all that hot air out of the roof space. Mate, your lake looks so easy. Oh, thank you. How good is it? I reckon it's kind of like the next 
step in the evolution of roof ventilation, what do you reckon? Absolutely. As a roofing expert, I can't stress the importance of good roof ventilation, whether it be in the summer, pulling all the hot air out of the roof space, or even in the winter to reduce mould. Yeah. And did you see on the front, Walt, it's got the blue butterfly. I did. I didn't notice that, actually. We're obsessing them on our show. Oh. So that's the Sensitive Choice Program with the National Asthma Council of Australia. So I guess that means it is approved to help reduce those triggers for asthma and that's due to the mold and all that kind of stuff which grows up there so it's good i'm very impressed Thank you. if you want to find out a little bit more information about these including the dangers of not ventilating your home of course and where to buy these they have a really good website very informative if you jump onto bradfordventilation.com.au you find all the details there all right link thanks again mate nice to see you Walt. a quick one you've left your ladder leaned up on there oh buddy. okay take right. care we'll take a quick break and we're back soon